This graph shows the relationship between the temperature of Earth's atmosphere and the content of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere over the past 800,000 years. The mainstream scientific community believes the atmosphere's temperature will change with the carbon dioxide content. This graph shows the relationship between the carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere and the amount of vegetation under normal conditions. It shows that the total amount of vegetation on Earth varies with the carbon dioxide content in normal years. Thomas Guangyin Jin uses the following seven points to summarize the two graphs. The first point is sunlight, water, carbon dioxide, and oxygen are essential for plant growth and are in great demand. The second point is that sunlight, water, and oxygen supply is relatively sufficient and stable. At the same time, the carbon dioxide content in the atmosphere is very scarce, so carbon dioxide has become a bottleneck restricting plant growth. The third point is, as the carbon dioxide content increases, the vegetation on the earth will become thicker, and the vegetation area will expand. The fourth point is, vegetation, like solar panels, can store solar energy. One method is photosynthetic energy storage, the other is physical energy storage, for example, dense forests can store more solar energy than deserts. With the development of vegetation, the temperature of the earth will increase. The fifth point is, after the plants die, microorganisms decompose the plants and send some carbon to the atmosphere, and some carbon will be buried in the ground to be permanently solidified. The sixth point is, during the interglacial period, the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will gradually decrease due to solidification, so vegetation will gradually decline, which will lead to a decrease in the energy storage capacity of the vegetation so that the earth will enter the glacial period. The seventh point is, during the glacial period, the amount of carbon dioxide solidified is less than in the interglacial period, and the carbon from the slow release of carbonate, volcanic eruption, space supplement, or other ways will accumulate more and more. After reaching a certain level, the Earth will re-enter the interglacial period due to the growth of vegetation.